I've got to ask you, first and foremost, because you know, you, know, you do the math, and it, it's very simple math if you're trying to game out just the, the revenue potential of this. You know, you've got the 300 odd million uh, clients, you've got the, the 12 months, the $30 a month, but in your view, how much of a take up can we get for them all agreeing to pay that $30 a month? Because cause that's going to be the key in terms of how you even value something like Microsoft right now. Well, that's one of the keys. Uh, certainly the pricing now for Office 365 is one of the uh, pieces they gave us of the uh, AI strategy. Uh, but if we think about the Office 365 commercial base of revenue, we estimate that for the fiscal year just ended, that was a $40 billion business. So if you assume even a small percentage uptake, and we, we haven't published formal specific estimates yet, but hypothetically to answer your question, a uh, let's say a 10th of that, uh, with roughly a double of the average price per month with the, the incremental $30 you mentioned, that would be annually several billion dollars more, just at a relatively low adoption rate uh, based on that pricing. So clearly that would be a significant increment to the 0365 commercial base of uh, revenue. And then on top of that, you have Azure, which is an even bigger business, over $55 billion. Uh, AI-ness will be pervasive in Azure, and, and that too will generate incremental revenue. So even a, a small percentage effect on the Azure base of revenue will be significant incremental revenue. Joe, I mean, Will and I have been talking about this all week. The, the value of AI as a, as a general tool is, is still something we, you know, we spend a lot of time talking about. And this pricing would suggest that Microsoft sees an enormous amount of value coming from the product that it's offering, doesn't it? That's an extraordinarily bullish price they put on it. Because you know, they had the option of saying, OK, maybe we'll get 10% uptake. Whereas if they priced it in a, with a mind frame that said, look, Let's just give it to as many people as we can, get them hooked, and then start raising the price. Then they would have got 50, 60 percent uptake because everybody wants to try it out. Everybody wants to check what's going on with this thing because none of us know how much value it really holds. So I'm just, it just it, it's got to speak to a great deal of confidence on Microsoft's part that they're saying, nah, we're just going to price it high right from the get go. Right. Well, there, there's clearly a great deal of uh, retention and growth in that business. Uh, 0365 has continued to do very well, along with other parts of the commercial business. Uh, and so Microsoft clearly has a very strong predominant position here. Uh, and when you think about this as a massive productivity tool, a wholly new platform, uh, I've been following tech now for over 40 years, and we've seen periodically massive replatforming of uh, of this kind uh, in earlier generations that have always been catalysts for growth. Uh, Microsoft itself has experienced this, uh, and I think in our view, they are naturally and legitimately and very well positioned uh, for AI. I don't think that is true for every company that claims to have AI, but I think in Microsoft's case, both for B2B and for B2C, uh, they are clearly well positioned, and this is the product of a, of a decade-long investment uh, in this capability.